Welcome back. A handmade card is a great way to show someone you care. Today we are going to create our own greeting cards with our help from our resident crafting guru. Amy Latta joins us for this Getting Crafty segment to show us how to make washi tape cards. Thanks for being here. Always a pleasure. This is exciting. Talk to us about washi tape. Some people may not know what washi tape is. My daughter has tons of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, once you do discover it, you collect it. Trust yes. me. So washi tape is basically decorative tape and you can see lots of examples here on our table this morning you can find flowers and polka dots all kinds of patterns and colors and it feels and acts a lot like painters tape in that it's sticky enough to stay on things but you can easily peel and reposition it if you need to and it's really popular for scrapbooking for cards like we're doing today paper crafting anything like that so the cards, talk to us what types of, what do we need for this type of project? What type of supplies? So this is really simple and you only need a few things that you probably already have in your craft stash. You need card stock or a heavy paper. I've got the craft color here, that natural brown, but you can also use white card stock or any color that you want. Our washi tape, of course. And then I've been using colored cardstock to put embellishments like the flowers and hearts on here. So if you have some colored cardstock, um, some scissors and adhesive to put those on. But really, if you just have cardstock and washi tape, you can still do this project. Okay, well, why don't you walk us through? Sure. So all we're going to do is we're going to start with our blank card and we're going to take some washi tape. I like to find some that coordinates. So you'll see, you know, today I'm going to be using some that has purple flowers and some leaves, um, but you can do any of the washi tapes that you like. And all we're going to do is start by making some stripes on the card front with our washi tape. You're just going to stick it down anywhere you like. Then you can cut or tear the edges and tuck them around the front. And then I'm going to continue to do that with my other colors of tape. And you'll notice that sometimes I even overlap my tape. And I'm doing this on a diagonal because, Deborah, I don't want to have to worry about being perfect. I don't know <laughs> about you, but That's... I never am. That's why my newest book is called Practice Makes Progress, not Practice Makes Perfect, because we're never going to do it. So I like to put my things on a diagonal on purpose so that I don't have to worry about lining them up straight. So you'll see here on my card front, I've got a couple of stripes of washi tape. Oh, nice. Yep. How did yours turn out? Beautiful. I love it. And then I already pre-punched a little cardstock flower. All I did was use this cute little flower punchy, and I used a purple cardstock. And then we're going to take some of this Tombow adhesive tape, put it on the back of our shape, and just stick that right here on the card like so. And you can see in some of the examples, I put like a button for the center of the flower. In some of them, I decided to write a little message like thank you, for you, something like that. You can also just kind of doodle a little border or anything you want just to embellish it. But plain and simple, just like that, we made a card this morning. That is really wonderful. Why don't you tell us how does this tie into your new book? I'd love to. I'm so excited about this book. We talked about it a bit last time I was here, but I just can't stop because <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, this is a guided creativity journal called Practice Makes Progress. And the idea is that it's for creatives of all types. So whether you consider yourself a crafter or you know maybe your daughter does, or maybe you consider yourself someone who's not artistic at all and can't draw a stick figure. This book is still for you. It's a creative journey wherever you are. And it talks about 25 different facets of creativity. I started with 25 quotes about creativity and I talk about each one and give you some exercises to do. So one of those exercises talks about thinking about someone who's inspired you to be creative or maybe gifted you with a creative gift and it encourages you to send them a thank you. So this is an example. It doesn't tell you exactly in the book you must create this card, but it kind of gives you that open-ended prompt to create and send a card. I'm just letting that person know how they impacted your life. Yeah, so simple, so easy, but very personal. Yes, exactly. Okay, thanks so much, Amy. Stay with us, we will be right back.